Now we move to the crisis in Sudan. Tonight, the U.S. government is warning thousands of Americans who live in the war-torn country that time is running out to exit safely. Several hundred Americans are already on the move, traveling 500 miles by bus from the capital Khartoum to the port of Sudan. From there, they'll be taken by boat to Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. CBS's Remy Innocencio is there. Errol, good evening. CBS News can confirm that those Americans fleeing Sudan boarded a convoy of 18 buses on Friday, then drove about 12 hours towards the eastern coast, all the while protected by what's called top cover, likely implying that they were protected by U.S. military drones. From there, they will then sail another 12 hours across the Red Sea to where we are here in Jeddah. This morning, we watched a ship pull into the naval port with nearly 2,000 evacuees from Sudan. That carried a mix of UN and humanitarian workers, a mix of nationalities, as well as Sudanese citizens. And they are all fleeing because Sudan's military and its strongest paramilitary force, the RSF, or Rapid Support Forces, are now in full-blown conflict, fighting each other, trying to protect their own base of power. And Sudan's civil society is now breaking down with action access to food, water, hospitals, and the internet all crumbling. And that's why Americans, Brits, Japanese, Chinese, and Sudanese are all trying to flee, Errol. That ship carrying those Americans is expected to land here tomorrow. All right, Remy Innocencio in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Thank you.